Hey guys, it is December 14th and it's 8.40 p.m. I do have to go get Chase from work because his car is still, you know, out of commission for us. So I have to go pick him up. He gets done at 9, so I'm going to leave now. And then we're going to come home relax for a little bit. And tonight we are headed to the hospital to start our induction. I'm super excited. I'm really nervous, uh, but I'm really excited. All right, first off, I apologize about the terrible lighting. We have no lights on in here right now. Um, but it is currently 8.23. Yeah, 8.23 in the morning. Uh, we got here around 1.30. Well, we got to where we needed to be around 1.30. We got lost in the hospital. Um, and I have my phone just, I have you guys just chilling on my little tray because I don't feel like holding and recording at the moment um but like I said we got to where we needed to be at 1 30 and they finally got done doing everything around 3 a.m um and I probably had 20 minutes of sleep total when we first got here they did start me with sight attack um, which is just a little pill that they insert to help soften everything, uh, to get the ball rolling. Uh, <laughs> so, that wasn't bad. Uh, I did start to bring on contractions, which I barely felt. And then around six, the contractions started to pick up. Um, again, I didn't really feel them, but they were there and at seven they came in to check me because it had been four hours since my set attack was in and I made it to one centimeter and 50% effaced so that's the latest update um, and they put in a Foley bulb which it's been in for an hour now and it is definitely brought on some stronger contractions and for some reason the machine keeps beeping and I don't know why and I just wanted to stop I think it's out of paper I think that's why it's beeping so yep I have uh, some ice chips because I'm getting really hungry and obviously I can't eat anything so I'm eating ice chips and then I do have apple juice because they are allowing me uh, clear liquids such as like apple juice, ginger ale, and then water obviously until I think they said six centimeters. So hopefully once I hit six centimeters it goes pretty fast after that because I don't know how I'm going to deal without drinking anything. I can have ice chips after that, but I don't know what I'm going to do <laughs> drinking-wise. So, that is kind of where I'm at now. Uh, she has been super active and keeps moving away from the monitor. So, they keep having to come in and adjusting the monitor, and I swear I have a rug burn on my back now. <laughs> um, I have my little thumb thing here, and then I'll show you my IV. And then for my IV, they have it in my forearm right there. Not the best place. I don't like it that much. But I don't want to get uh, stuck again with another IV. So I'm just kind of sucking it up. Um, but yeah, that is basically the update. Uh, it is snowing outside, which I would show you guys. But it's like all the way over there and I can't really show you from where I am and I can't get up at the moment so <laughs> yeah uh, Chase just went down to the cafeteria go get some breakfast I'm very jealous 
I've just been watching Catfish since about 4, 4.30 a.m. I've been watching Catfish. It's a bunch of, like, repeat episodes. I've seen all of them at least a hundred times, so it's not super interesting, but it's better than nothing. Right, I will update you guys when I know more. Alright, so it is currently 12.45, around 9 o'clock, I got the Pitocin started um, in my IV, and it's still going, um, and shortly after that, I started getting really intense contractions. I actually got, like, one contraction that was just consistent for, like, ever, um, and it was really, really painful, and made me kind of doubt doing this whole no epidural thing. I was like, I'm not even at three centimeters and I'm already dying. So, um, that wasn't fun. But then my um, fully bulb, the tape that they put on your leg to keep the tube like nice and tight uh, came off. So I called in the nurse to put more tape on and it was actually time to pull the fully bulb out. It was ready. So once that came out, the contractions <laughs> like were so easy to deal with. I barely feel them still. Um, they did check me and I was a little over three centimeters, not four centimeters, but I was a little over three. I was 80% effaced and at a station negative two, um, which is cool. I haven't been checked though in like a couple hours. The next step is to break my water. They just upped my Pitocin not too long ago. And I'm just waiting for whenever I feel ready to break my water. Because right now it's up to me. So, I'm kind of stalling on it. Uh, Chase is just chilling. On the couch, on his phone. <laughs> and I have on... Um... Why can't I think of the name of the show? Babe, what's the show's name? With Chip and Joanne. It's the couple that goes around and they flip homes. Fixer Upper, haha. That's what it is. So I just have Fixer Upper on. I have it on mute though while I was recording because the sound comes from the remote down there. So it's muted at the moment. All right, well, it is a little over 3.15 p.m. I did end up sleeping for like two hours and the next step forward can't be taken um, unless I said so, uh, which was breaking my water. So there was nothing going on in that time period. They checked me, I'm at a four, still 80% effaced, and at a negative two station, so there wasn't much progress since the last check at um, 10, 10 something, I don't know, I forget the time at this point, but um, they did just break my water, and I can feel a contraction coming, and now they're getting painful. So, they're getting really painful. Uh, this is really uncomfortable because it feels like you just keep peeing yourself. And there's nothing that can be done about it. Nothing. So, I'm kind of miserable at the moment. Um, fixer Upper is no longer on, but it's flip or flop. I don't know specifically what flip or flop. But you know it's flip or flop. Hopefully this keeps me distracted, so we'll see. Hey guys, so it's now 10.40 p.m. It is 
obviously very dark so it's been a really long time since I updated by seven um, I kind of gave in and decided to get the uh, pain medicine that they could put why is the light on babe there's a pain medicine that they can inject through your IV and it lasts an hour I can't remember the name of it that they have here so I got that and I kind of tried to close my eyes and relax a little bit maybe take a nap um, it doesn't completely make the contractions go away I still felt them but they weren't nearly as bad they're manageable to the point where like I didn't even have to do anything pain management wise uh, to get through them so I was half asleep during that hour that they were going on um, afterwards they started to pick up with each contraction and started getting stronger um, and it got really bad and the camera's like super shaky right now because I'm like shaking really bad so I apologize um, so yeah fast forward to 8 when they checked me again and I told myself with how bad the contractions were if I was at a 7 I was gonna keep going if I was at a 6 I was gonna get the epidural and also like if I was at a 5 still I was gonna get the epidural because they were so bad but for some reason getting to a 7 I feel like was a little bit of motivation to keep going because that means I was almost to the end um, but the 6 still felt so far away um, I was a 6 and so I ended up breaking down completely <laughs> and I did get the epidural shortly after being checked um, and I completely broke down the entire time before right, like leading up until they put the epidural in um, it was kind of there are some issues with the epidural but um, it's in now it's been in and working for about an hour so it started to kick in at like 940 um, they finished getting it in at like 910 so that's why I'm shaking I have the shakes and <laughs> it's not fun I have ice chips so it's the only thing I can have now so that is where I'm at now um, I'm going to try to sleep and hopefully when I wake up there'll be a lot more progress than just one centimeter because I'm getting really tired of having only one centimeter progress every time they go to check me so I will see you guys with the next update all right so it's almost 4:30. Um, at 1245 they did have me try to use the peanut ball to help progress everything um, and then they basically said if by 4 4 30 I haven't progressed at all from my check at 9 30 then we are doing a c-section so that's what we're doing uh, you could just put the socks in the bag <laughs> so chase is currently packing up the room they accidentally gave him two shirts instead of a shirt and pants so he's waiting on his pants um and yeah so we will be meeting her hopefully by five o'clock <laughs> um and then i can finally eat and somewhat relax a little bit i mean as much as i can relax Hey guys, so it is 2.45, so I haven't really done an update in a really long time. Um, we did go through the C-section like you saw last, and so she is here. Is there a certain white girl wasted language that only white girls know? Hello. Hello. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's a big one. Oh. 